This February was the second wettest on record, and that is not good news for the kind of storm that is headed our way. Yeah, because the ground is already so saturated, a lot of shoreline communities are worried about flooding. News 8's Tina did tell Live Force in New London tonight where storm preps are already underway. Tina. You know, here along the shoreline and here in New London, as you said, storm preps are underway. They are preparing and they're a little concerned about those heavy rains, but they're also concerned about the storm surge, which could come ashore. And it's not just the towns. Mystic Seaport is also battening down the hatches. The Charles W. Morgan is one of the ships kept in the water year round at Mystic Seaport. There's only one of these, and we have to do everything we can to make sure that uh, she's safe from, from everything. High winds, heavy rains, and flooding are what could threaten the shipyard Friday. Being built on the site of two former shipyards that are built very low to the water, we do have to worry about a storm surge. Keep her floating too far away. Even these boats, which are out of the water, have to be secured in case of flooding. That's basically where I was, and I floated uh, these boats here. The one thing that does not have to be battened down is the Mayflower, too. Now, this shelter is hurricane proof and is built to withstand winds up to 120 miles an hour so it can protect the restoration work going on in here. These shelters will keep the wood used in that restoration safe from the storm. Well, anytime we're going to get a uh, you know, storm or, you know, there's even a chance of uh, some hurricane force gusts, we like to make sure that our national treasures are as tied uh, tightly as we can. Public works crews in Stonington are also busy during this calm before the storm. As far as the existing drainage and all our underground piping, we're confident that that'll work at best to its capacity, but we can't control some things from Mother Nature. Coastal flooding is the biggest concern. Sandbags are ready in case they need to use them with the Pocketuck floodgates. And all the vehicles and equipment now have full tanks of gas. As always, <laughs> we hope for the best, but we prepare for the ultimate worst. Now, in addition to, of course, clearing the storm drains, those catch basins, like you see right here, they did it here in New London. Well, the crews in Stonington are also digging new waterways, and they're doing that so the water which pools and doesn't quite make it to the storm drains flows away from the road and doesn't accumulate. We're live in New London. Tina Detell, News 8.